Alright guys, open our project and go again to file, import, merge, select our bed, ignore the error message. Before we do anything, make a new layer and call it bed. Let's move it to the bedroom. Let's open our group, delete the backboard and close our group again. I actually liked this table, so let's keep it. I'm gonna align selection to the middle of this door on the x-axis. Let's take another look at our reference on this. So let's say this thickness should be something like 10 centimeters. What I would do is making this light emissive, so I'm gonna say 3 centimeters, and then I'm gonna connect, then chamfer, like so. Then select this part here, do an inset of let's say 0.25, then extrude minus yeah, just minus one, then give this another ID, material ID, make sure everything is also another material ID, assign this, and then we should be good. The other thing I would like to do is move this here and select my closet doors here and also move them to this end. It seems that I made a mistake here. I selected only this part and made an inset. I didn't see this edge here. So to fix this, what can we do is selecting this edge, then click symmetry, like so, and it will just make symmetry for us, and just move it on the X axis, slightly to the inside, like so. Let's go to the top view again, select these guys, make sure here everything looks good, and we should be good now. Let's select this wall also and detach this part. I would put an image texture here later, perhaps, to add some visual fidelity. I'm gonna copy these windows, only one part, like so. Make a, a copy. Select this wall. and move these to the middle and for now I think it's just best if we cheat a little by adding another FFD modifier do this and see from distance if it looks good or not I think it looks not bad what we can do here is adding another symmetry modifier on the Y axis and then do this. After that, let's make this part slightly smaller because that's a huge window we have here. Then find the midpoint like so add another poly modifier then move these guys to the edges let's see how this looks scale it down a little let's import our mannequin guy
what could we do here is selecting the window and the wall and move it down by like 20 centimeters I'm not working on any plans just like eyeballing stuff see what looks good what not of course working with plans could be so much easier work on the easy part here if you go back to our mood board we have a simple office and a simple chair let's get rid of this box and make a new box from wall to wall then let's set the length to something like 85 width keep it the same we'll just make sure it's extended from wall to wall and the height let's make it something like 8 and now let's put this on 80 in height let's make sure here things looks good that's one now above this let's set the length 50 sometimes I like to use 2d shapes as quick guides for me let's just make things easier and then let's set the height to something like 90 we will see how it looks in Unreal Engine set the width or the depth minus 10 here so it's 40 not bad The reason I made this an instance because we agreed before that we should have space between our meshes so now when we just move this slightly on the X axis like so from both sides we would have it like this everywhere that's kinda awesome I think this table is pretty huge 85 so let's just uh... what can we also do is adding connect chamfer by 20 so we have like 40 centimeters here it's connecting these and here is where we can have our cables go all the way down okay let's go to the bathroom and let's click save I will see you guys in the next lesson